Hello. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for the chemical potential of a system of n indistinguishable particles. Recall that the Helmholtz energy A is equal to minus the Boltzmann constant K times the thermodynamic temperature T times the natural log of Q, where Q is our canonical ensemble partition function for the entire system. Now suppose we have a system of n particles. If the particles were distinguishable, as for example in a crystal, then the canonical ensemble partition function big Q for the whole system would be equal to little q, which is the partition function for each particle, to the nth power. But if they're indistinguishable, we have to divide this now by the expression n factorial, where n is the number of indistinguishable particles. Next, we substitute our expression for capital Q into our expression here and use the properties of the logarithm to write it as a equals minus kt times the product, the natural log of q to the n power minus the natural log of n factorial. Next, we apply another property of the logarithm so that we can bring the exponent as a coefficient in front. So now we have a equals minus kt times the product n times the natural log of q minus the natural log of n factorial. Now we recall our expression for the differential of A, the Helmholtz energy, in an open system where it's equal to minus D minus S dt minus PdV plus mu dn. When we use this expression, we're going to assume that we're at a fixed temperature and a fixed volume. So that now that dt is equal to zero and dv is equal to zero. Dividing each side by dn, we get this particular derivative, which we know is the chemical potential for some particular species, which we're going to call here, to avoid confusion, the chemical potential of some component x. It's the partial derivative of a with respect to n, keeping the temperature t and the volume v constant. Then we simply substitute our expression in this line for A as the uh, argument of the derivative with respect to N to get this particular expression. Next, a minor bit of simplification. We pull this minus KT through the differential operator, which we're allowed to do because um, neither of these involves n. So we're left with minus kt times derivative with respect to n of n times the natural log of q minus the natural log of n factorial. This is a tricky expression which we've encountered before and we're going to again apply Stirling's approximation to it. We are going to use the approximation in place of the natural log of n factorial. We're going to replace it with an expression that doesn't have a factorial in it which is n times the natural log of n minus n. So now we make the approximation, uh, we insert the expression that we got from the approximation into our derivative in place of the minus natural log of n factorial to get the final two terms. Now that we have no factorials, we can actually go through and calculate the appropriate partial derivative. This gives us for the chemical potential of minus kt times the expression here, natural log of q minus the natural log of n, the number of particles in the system. It is helpful at this point to make a new substitution. And in place of the partition function q for each individual particle, we're going to replace it by q prime times v. Recall that uh, in the translational 
canonical ensemble partition function, there was a complicated expression multiplied by the volume. So we know that the volume is a factor in the partition function for a particle. Once we make this substitution and we multiply through by the minus kT in front, it gives us that the uh, chemical potential for some species X is going to be equal to minus kT times the natural log of Q prime V plus kT times the natural log of N. Again, we make use of another property of the natural logarithm to break up the natural log of the product of Q prime V so that now we have minus kT natural log of Q prime minus kT natural log of V, which we get from this first expression. And then we continue on with our plus kT times the natural log of N. Next, we apply the property of logarithms again to combine these second and third terms so that now we have minus kT natural log of Q prime. And remember, it refers to some indistinguishable system of N particles of some substance X, so we'll call that the X subscript here, plus kT times natural log of N divided by V. Finally, we recall that N divided by V here is the number of particles divided by the volume is nothing more than the concentration, the molar concentration of the substance X. So as a final result, we have that the chemical potential of a system of N indistinguishable particles of a substance X is equal to minus KT times the natural log of Q prime for X. So this is the partition function divided by the volume plus kT times the natural log of the molar concentration of X. So we see that the chemical potential of a substance, if it's an indistinguishable particle substance, depends upon the partition function for an individual particle plus an expression that depends upon the overall concentration. And this is our final result here. As always, I thank you very much for your kind attention. Have a good one.